Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Brad Matheny. Today is the 16th of July, and this is the midday, roughly, update of the SPY cycle patterns plan your trade video. Now, we're seeing quite a bit of support holding up, um, and it really does come back down to this level here that I had highlighted, this level. Um, it's acting as a very strong support area. Um, really uh, holding price up in this area. Um, I still believe, like I told you, that we're going to see that bigger, broader downturn into the, call it 557, 556 area, maybe 558. Don't really, I mean, ideally we could come back down to these lows, um, but really that 558, call it 559 level might only be it. So I am going to highlight this. And I want you to be aware that this could act as very strong support over the next couple of days. We do have ultimate support way down here, but, you know, they've got a lot of things going on that are biasing the market to the upside. So let me show you. OK, let me show you what's going on here. We have the transportation index. Is skyrocketing. I mean, it is literally, this is a daily chart. It is skyrocketing right now. The transportation index has been in a very solid roll to the downside since March, April. And now look at this. I mean, this is huge. This is a massive rally. Now, the transportation index normally leads the U.S. stock market by at least two or three months. Most cases, three to six months. But this is telling you that traders are piling into U.S. assets, U.S. dollar-based assets, expecting the markets to be much stronger in early 2025, much, much stronger. And this goes right along with our RSP, indicating that we've got this big blow-up rally here and RSP, I mean, look at this, folks. Look, let's go back here to weekly. I mean, this is staggering what's actually taking place on this volume. I mean, yeah, we had this upward trend. We had this, but we've been in this consolidation phase for, uh, this is months now, uh, since what, March? Yeah, March 18th, roughly. We've been in this consolidation phase and we're getting this huge, big breakout. Um, which really, when you come over here and you take a look at this, you know, we could be seeing a huge move to the upside. We could be seeing a rally of 20, 30, 35% maybe into 2025 on this RSP. Um, uh, let's take a look at uh, the financial sector. Financial sector big rally what's going on guys you know I, I thought all those what i call crash test dummies are out there saying we're gonna crash um but look at this this is really you can you can see the flag i mean it's absolutely beautiful you can see this flagging formation across here you can see this flagging formation really right across here this is kind of a little standout bump right here but look at that rally new highs on moderately strong volume uh let's take a look at uh, xlp consumer staples uh consumer staples is flagging out as well we don't have that rally yet so we'll come right across here right across there roughly getting ready to rally looks like it could rally but that's going to cause you know that's going to be the uh us market moving uh, consumers moving back into the market on an aggressive stance, and we're not quite there yet. Uh, let's take a look at gold. I was looking at that earlier. I did a video today. Big move. I mean, I've got a lot of drawing on here, so let me get rid of some of the drawing. But look at this move. This is a huge move in gold. Gold is up almost 2% today, just under 2,500. Um, just a massive rally taking place and uh you know this is the hedge instrument of choice against fear uh silver trying 
breaking into this channel that I talked about the other day. Not quite out of the woodworks yet. Uh, bring to front. Uh, let's take a look at... Uh, uh, let's take a look at... Let's take a look at... Um, crude. Crude, this is weekly. Flagging downward. Uh, came down to my level here. We're flagging downward. Let's take a look here. We really need to watch this channel. You can see how we've come right across here. I would say that's a fairly solid flag. And we need to kind of pay attention to this channeling level here. So there you go. There's your flag in crude. And uh, if we were to try to address this from a rally, one, two, three, four, five, uh, could be moving a bit higher. The move um, into transportation index moving higher could mean that we're looking at a boost into the uh, December time frame in early 2025. Um, my assumption is, again, that crude oil will stall. So I would assume, again, that given what's going on with the election and given the, the fact that uh, the transportation index leads the market by three to six months, I would say that we'd be looking at crude oil to stall back into the $70 area and then try to move higher into 2025. Um, I mean, this is kind of a look at everything. So um what other symbols bitcoin let's take a look at bitcoin just really staggering rally reversal rally now i've gone all the way down here into the daily charts and you know that i called this base and bottom here um and we're looking at a continued move possibly up into the ninety thousand dollar area up in this area by 2025 maybe a little earlier but i'm putting my guess at 2025 will be the year we break 90 grand on bitcoin um what else could we look at uh xlk technology fund daily it's under a little pressure and i would expect this to to play out so where we're at with the technology fund and where we're at with the markets with this revaluation of uh, underlying or ignored stock sectors, there's a very good chance here that um, technology could move down into uh, potentially this area here, trying to find some support on a pullback. And that would mean cash would be fleeing technology maybe seeing a 15, 14, 13, 14, 15% downward trend into this area. Cash may be exiting certain technology sectors, looking for alternate moves in the market. And I mean, they're everywhere. I was talking to people this morning and I mean, you're seeing big moves. Look at this in Ford, big move in Ford. Absolutely. And I highlighted this, look at this. Back in March, oh, look, 17% is possible. Look at where we're at. We're already 12% higher in like, this is weekly, three, four weeks. Just massive move to the upside, guys. Uh, General Motors, same thing. Okay, look at this. Just big, massive move. I highlighted this area back over here, talking about where we were at. Could get up here to 55. Look, we're at 49.90. We're only $5 away. You literally could be a week away from hitting my target. And this was alerted to you on my on my uh, research, on my videos. So, I mean, it's right there. Um, ARKK, oops. Same thing. I highlighted the fact that we were going to move into a rally phase and that we could ultimately come up into these areas. But look, we're just getting started right here, guys. Okay, ARKQ. Big rally phase. Look what I suggested is that we're going to move up into this area and then potentially move all the way up into this area, 72, and then to 81, 82. So we're almost right here. We're $4, $3 away from hitting my first target level. 
Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And remember, I alerted this to you like five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half weeks ago. I mean, it was right there. All you had to do was pay attention. So remember, where we're at with this market on the SPY and the QQQ is that we are having a very solid reflation trade. And what that means is that we're getting broad sector inflation or reflation regarding the stock market. And so on a daily basis, or if I come down here on a 30 minute basis and try to highlight what's going on here, my earlier expectation for today was to open in this area, rally upward to about this area, which is uh, 564, rolling over late in the day into a moderate downtrend, trying to close at 561, just below 562, so 561.75, or potentially down into this 561 area. So you're really looking at a close possibly between 561 and 562, and then possible downward trending here. Although I will tell you, and I will highlight this a little differently, um, you are going to find very comfortable support in this area. Right in this 558, 559 area, you are going to find very comfortable support, primarily off of this long-term trend line right here. Okay, this dotted yellow line. So I would expect price to try to base bottom, find support in this area. Any move down here is probably going to be short-lived, I would guess. Okay, so again, remember, because the markets are showing renewed signs of broad uh, sector appreciation and a big capital shift into what looks to be a reflating U.S. economy, um, be aware this pullback is going to be um, very short. So understand that we're talking about a move from here to here. That's uh, minus 0.78% maybe down to here, minus 1.35%. That's it. That's our pullback. No 3%, no 5% pullback, no nothing big like that. We're talking about really, this is just going to, again, come back over here to daily. We're really going to be looking at just a sideways slide, kind of like this, a sideways slide really just, you know, just moving sideways a bit into this 22nd, 23rd, 24th area, and then starting to rally. And that's why I want you to be aware. If you're shorting this thing, thinking it's going to be a big pullback, better cool your jets. Better sit back and realize that, yeah, it might go down one, one and a half percent, but I don't know. I don't think it's going to drop down back into this area. It's just not going to happen. It's going to stay in this 556, 557, 558 area, in my opinion, as the, as the lowest we're going to see it go. Okay, guys, more later.